Hey guys, Kevin here from Relax Learn Guitar, back for day number two in our Guitar Starter Series here on YouTube. So congratulations for completing the first day. If you've not checked that lesson out, you can get that in the uh, link right above or in the description below. In that video, we learned all the different parts of the guitar and our first couple of chords to put together for our first song. At Relax on Guitar, I teach folks over 40 how to play the guitar so they can relax, have fun, and be part of a great online community. And if you're brand new to the guitar, or maybe it's been a while since you've played, you're in the right place. So this is a great way to jump back in and check out this uh, series. We're going to be playing guitar for about 15 minutes a day for the next seven days, or for a total of seven days, to get you going and back in learning guitar. In this day two lesson, we're going to be covering three chords in the key of G that we're going to be using for pretty much the rest of the lessons in this series. Very important song, uh, chords to learn to play guitar, and they're very common. You'll play them for tons and tons of songs. So let's get started. The first one we're going to learn is the D chord. And this will be a little different. Uh, yesterday's lesson or the day one lesson was uh, we were playing all six strings on that E minor chord and that D6 chord. This one is uh, a D chord. You're only going to play four strings. So remember, strings are numbered six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we're going to play from the fourth string down, just four strings to play this D chord. It sounds a lot happier than that E minor chord we were doing yesterday. So, you're going to, again, remember your index finger is 1, middle is 2, ring is 3, pinky is 4. And we're going to be playing here on the 2nd fret, index finger, 3rd string, 2nd fret. Your middle finger, 1st string, 2nd fret. And your ring finger, 2nd string, 3rd fret. Play that 4th string open. Open just means you're not fretting any notes on it. It's just an open sounding, or an open played string. A little trick for you, as we talked about our wrist position and where our thumb is, so you can use a pen or a pencil and make sure you're arching those fingers. You should be able to still get that note or those notes to ring out nice and clear and play that chord, even with a pencil here. And the reason I tell folks to do that is a lot of times people tend to want to kind of drag their fingers when they're first learning to play. And you get dead strings. Again, you want to pick, strum, and pick those notes. And get a nice press, and the closer you are to those frets, those fret wires, I should say, the easier you're going to be on your fingers. If you're getting some finger pain, you might want to check out the lesson. I'll leave it above and in the description below. Got a lesson on, on what to do about those sore fingers that you get when you're playing guitar. So uh, you also want to make sure you're uh, playing those nice and clean and correcting any issues before you move on. Uh, the next is a G chord. Now we're back to playing all six strings. A very common chord. Can give people a little bit of a, a trouble sometimes because uh, the most common thing I'll see is uh, the way they play on that with that third finger. So we'll get to that. So you're going to fret with your index finger number one is on the fifth string second fret. Your middle finger, whoa, is on the sixth string third fret. And then way down here on the first string third fret is your ring finger. And oftentimes I'll see people kind of have that one too far back. You want to be pretty far up here to get that to ring out nicely. Pick those. Correct any issues, any buzzing you have, any dead strings, strum and pick. Pick, strum, pick. And I really recommend you learn the, the G chord this way first. There's a ton of different ways to play this G chord. And if you're uh, having trouble with it, you can click the link um, in the description or in the card above and learn how to play. Uh, that G chord a couple of different ways. That might be easier for you, but try it this way first. And then finally we have a C chord. And this one's kind of, kind of a stretch. And we're only going to play from the fifth string down. 
for this chord. To fret this one, you've got your index finger. Finger number one is going to be on string number two, fret number one. And you're going to kind of skip a string here. And you're going to put your middle finger on the fourth string second fret. And you're going to put your ring finger here on the fifth string third fret. And just play from the fifth string down. Pick, strum, pick. Now with this one, a good tip is you don't really want to kind of play it kind of straight up and down. You want to angle your angle your fingers back a little bit here. It's just more comfortable that way. So kind of shift if you're having trouble this way. Kind of see how you shift your fingers and kind of angle your fingers back. One of the common things I see here is this first string will be dead because again that, that index finger, the fat part might be touching that first string. So I'm going to pick, strum and pick that as well. be a good place to pause the video here and kind of practice those chords. D, G, and C. And once you've done that, we're going to have to do the same thing with these that we did with the chords in our first lesson. You're going to practice just strumming down. Sorry, I'm let D, what's D chord? It's from four strings down. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four, change to the G. One, two, three, four, change to the C. One, two, three, four, change to the D. So we do that nice and slow. If you gotta slow it way down, that's fine. Try to keep your right hand, if you're right-handed and strumming with your right hand, keep your strumming hand always strumming up and down and see if you can change those chords without your strumming hand stopping. If you can do that, you're kind of ready to move on to the next lesson here. So that's it. Congratulations for completing the second day of our Guitar Starter series here on YouTube. Your homework, should you choose to accept it, is to practice those three chords and strumming nice and clean, four counts down strum on each chord. And then join me for day three. You can get that lesson by clicking above. And we will be putting these three chords together in a really cool tune, a little Eric Clapton, and learning your first guitar look as well. So join me for day three for sure. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to see you in more of my videos in the future. And I will see you guys for the next lesson. You take care.